hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know me my name is Ms. beth and i post all types of videos literally depends whatever i'm feeling sometimes i post curly hair videos growing up videos college videos anything in the book i don't have a niche i want to show my whole person and a whole person is not only one thing but today i wanted to do a sit down video which i haven't done in a really long time i just kind of want to sit down and talk and kind of like imagine we're on a facetime call because i know a lot of the people around me are going through it right now most of you're a college student it's kind of midterm season so it's very easy to get caught up in the small stuff which attestance isn't small mostly when it's like part of your future but it's very easy to get caught up on the bad times i don't know what i'm saying i just want to talk about the things that happen as you're growing up and the things that i've been noticing in my friends and me and maybe trying to put some words to it instead of just not knowing how to express it or feeling lonely in that so the first thing that i want to talk about is kind of watching yourself lose yourself i think about the old me the i used to be such a hyper bro in in high school freshman year i used to be so hyper people used to think i was annoying that's how hyper i was which to be honest i would think i was annoying too i was always just bouncing off the walls and i see myself now and i'm not like that anymore and i know that's just part of growing up but i think it's a little painful because you see kind of that childlike mentality and that childlike happiness just disappears slowly and then happiness starts to become more about materialistic things for example i mentioned midterms and i catch myself smiling when i get an a being content like when i get a b and you know c being upset and i don't find myself smiling the same or laughing the same and i think that's a little bit painful and i've been trying to change it i've been trying to like go back to this younger me i've been trying to journal i've been trying to ask myself why 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 but in reality i think i'm coming to terms with the fact that i just gotta find new ways to smile and like laugh instead of trying to go back to the old ways because the freshman year me is not the same i've been through a lot i've changed a lot my life has changed a lot so i think kind of trying to go back to your old self doesn't really make sense because you're not that person anymore and you've learned so many lessons and you've changed so much you're kind of doing a disservice to all your growth by trying to go back to your old self and trying to go back to something that you're not anymore but saying that it is painful watching yourself just kind of disappear and then you have to meet this new person and sometimes you might not like the new person that you become which means that you have to change that person and then it's just a whole journey in itself and i think that that has a lot to do with um like i'm saying like in college you're meeting a bunch of new people you're in a new environment you're around new people and things change and no matter what humans say the people around you really do do impact you the way you act the way you want to be the way you dress um, something else that i want to touch upon um that i currently been struggling with is changes in my body and like the way that i look and some background um growing up i've always been really skinny like really really skinny and my new in high school, I used to hate this. I used to be like, I want to gain weight, I want to gain weight, I want to gain weight. Because I was always super skinny, like nothing to my bones. But now I'm getting a little bit of weight, now that I'm getting older, and I think, you know, second puberty, third puberty is hitting. And even though this is what I wanted, that gain, like gaining that weight, it's still hard. It's still, I catch myself kind of still being like, you should be skinny. You should, you should lose some weight, even though this is what I wanted, this is what I thought would make me conf confident, which shows you, shows you that confidence comes within, not how you look from outside, but also the changes in my body, I still find myself missing that old body. I, some, I still find myself kind of putting my identity on my body. For example, everybody knew me as like super skinny Elizabeth. My nickname was Flaca. And when your body becomes such a big part of your identity, when you start losing that part of your identity, you don't know what the fuck to do with yourself. I'm not flack anymore. Well, I am I, I am still skinny, but but I'm not that extreme version of myself, which is a good thing, but also to say the truth that it, it's hard to watch myself change and and have to find a new form of identity because also why the fuck was my identity based on the fact that I was skinny? Weird. But that's how I was socialized. Just watching your body change and go through changes, even if it's good or bad, even if even if um you start going to the gym and you have your dream body, no matter what, that change is gonna be like a little shocking. It's gonna be like, damn, like now I gotta get used to this. I gotta get used to wearing clothes like this. I have to get used to walking out the house like this. I have to get used to being confident in this form of myself. And I think that is something that I'm working on, just being confident in whatever stages of my life that I'm in, no matter if I'm doing bad in school, no matter if my body doesn't look the way that I want it to be. I wanna be confident just in the person that I am instead of the person that brings all these other things 
something else that i've been really struggling with is kind of the idea of my future but also i've been beating myself up because i think too much of my future and i know that's super contradicting i will spend hours just thinking about damn like what if i fail like what if what if i don't make as much money as i want to what if things just don't work out the way that i envisioned in my head i have like the storyline of my life and the storyline is so strict and it's like i'm so scared of not meeting those standards that i set for myself but at the same time i'm so self-aware that i know that that's not good like life i know this person like life is so unpredictable and you cannot control life you cannot control life and if you try to control it you're gonna be miserable doing it but no matter what i try to control life so i've been working on kind of just letting go a little bit and just enjoying the life that i have right now because also this is the life that i once prayed for i was in high school praying to be in a school like this i was in high school praying to be in a dorm like this and now that i'm here i'm praying for something else it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense and i think it's it has to do with the way that we're socialized we're always socialized to push for more ask for more ask for more like push yourself for more you should be working hard you should be doing more you should be doing more Which, of course work hard but at the same time enjoy the moments that you have and i know that's such a cliche um and before i didn't really know how to do this and i'm gonna say now the way that i've been doing it the way that i've been trying to enjoy the moments is literally when something is happening like when i'm laughing with my friends a lot of the time i'll notice i'll be like oh this feels good like i'll be like yes this feels good like this i'm taking in the love I, like when i wash my seat sheets and i make my bed and i lay in my bed i'll be like this feels good that is so hard to do sometimes mostly when you're in college everything around you is always like what well, grade did you get in this class so you can do get a better job you have to get a good gpa so you can get into grad school if you decide to go to grad school or get a good job if you decide to go into the work field and everything is what's next what's next what's next what's next um my mind always does this too it's kind of like when can you get an apartment when can you get a job that makes you more money when can you save when do you, when do you invest when do you do this when do you do this how about now how about you just chill and sit down and talk and just have those moments to yourself. The last thing that I'm gonna talk about is kind of balancing academics and my creativity side. If you're somebody like me, I'm I'm kind of like a type A person. I'm a wannabe type A person, I feel like. Structure really helps me, but it's really hard to keep that structure. So it's like so self touch and so self touch But with that structure, a lot of the time when I'm trying to focus just on having a good routine, I tend to forget about my creative side, which makes me feel empty inside. And my creative side is sometimes I just wanna sit down and color in this coloring book. You know what I'm saying? Like just take that moment to do things that I think aren't productive. When in reality, those are productive. Those are things that are filling your cup. Editing is one of them. Sitting down and taking pictures is one of them for me. And doing YouTube is one of them. And I haven't been doing it. I I realized that the last time I posted on Instagram was a month and a half ago. On YouTube, I haven't posted in like two months. And I was, I let go of that creative outlet. And I could tell, like I could tell myself and what I was saying before about like not laughing as much and not not feeling as outgoing as much or not feeling as joyful as much I think really has to do with that creative outlet because that is the things that fill your cup. Everything else like school, me doing homework, yes, is good for my mental health because I always say being productive, self-care. Like being productive no matter what, anybody can tell you self-care because I can have 10 billion pounds of homework. Me doing a face mask is not going to help me. Doing that homework is going to help me. But doing that creative outlet, even if you're not a creative person, even if it's just it could be reading a book that is cre a creative outlet it could be doing your makeup that is a creative outlet just sitting down even if it's just 10 minutes every day and and doing something that nourishes that part of you that nourishes that little kid in you that nourishes that like i'm so excited to do something that might not be useful or might not be productive but it's just for you i think that is something so important and something that I'm trying to work on so much and I think would be so helpful for all those college students out there that are in the middle of midterms and and you can get so caught up, so caught up in being productive and doing what you have to do. But you forget that you're also a human being and human beings weren't meant to work 24-7. Human beings were meant to be part of a community, to be part of um, helping each other, giving each other medicine, making each other medicine, having fun as kids, like families intertwining, taking care of each other, which can be lost in this individualist society now that we call fucking America. Yeah, that creative outlet, I'm really trying to work on flourishing and nourishing because it's 
something that keeps me sane and I think will keep a lot of the people around me sane and a lot of my friends sane. And it doesn't have to be big. Like I said, it could be doing your hair. Like I did my hair today. I haven't done my hair, like a hairstyle in so long. I haven't recorded in so long and it feels good to do, to do this. It was a really short talk. And also the reason I wanted to do a sit down and talk is because I'm trying a new editing style. So hopefully ah, it works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start editing again and I'm gonna learn how to edit more because that I love doing that I like doing that that and I want to sit down and edit this video and put a lot of effort into it and even if I get frustrated keep putting effort into it and watch the final result because I'm back to my editing shits okay okay this is just me ranting and I really really hope that this made you feel a little more seen or you can relate or maybe you can't relate but still listen to me and i really 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 appreciate it i hope you have a great day it is tuesday if you see this on a friday i hope you have a great week and if you see this on a monday i hope you have a great week if you see this on a wednesday i hope you have a great great day morning night anything i'm really sending my positive energy to every single one of you guys and wishing success to every single one of you thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time I'm loving the vibe that you're giving me. I'm thinking my heart can be safe. A feeling I needed, and there I can breathe again, making it.